Welcome back, my dear viewers, to Review Rant. Today, we are looking at the newest film in the Deadpool series. Deadpool and Wolverine. So, here's the deal. I'm going to get into the spoiler-free stuff at this timestamp right here. And at this time, right here, I will get into the spoiler review stuff, plus all the cameos and etc. So, now that we have established that, let's talk about the movie. Let's fucking go! Okay, so, I gotta say this. I really, really enjoyed this movie so much. It is so refreshing to see a movie that I, that I like as much as this. This was by far my most anticipated movie of the year. And I gotta tell you, it did not disappoint. This movie is by far my favorite movie of the year. The movie works so well. I can't tell you how many shocking moments that had me on the edge of my seat that left me completely shocked. The movie is so well crafted. It actually doesn't feel like an MCU movie, even with Deadpool talking about it and mentioning it. Now, if anyone is wondering my opinion and my stance on if this movie saves the MCU or not, um, no. Just because the movie is great does not affect the MCU as a whole. So no, Marvel Jesus did not save the MCU. But what is funny is they do kind of make a little joke about that. Wait, was that a spoiler? Ah, whatever. Deadpool Wolverine is not a masterpiece, but... Man, I would be lying if I said I didn't love every single moment of this movie. The jokes are still as funny as ever, the characters are really good in this movie, and the newcomers, Emma Corrin, who plays Cassandra Nova, and Matthew McFadden, who is Paradox, work so well. I really think everyone stepped into the shoes of their characters very well, and we haven't even gotten to Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, who are the best standouts of the movie. Hugh Jetman feels like he never left the character. He is still perfect, and the emotion he brings is fantastic. Ryan Reynolds, too, brings such a good vibe to this movie, because they work so well together. The fights that they have in this movie are quite long, but that's not a bad thing. It's great to see two legends battle it out on the silver screen. But if I have to say some negative things, it would probably be that I feel like some scenes go on a little too short, where it feels like we're just trying to get to the next scene or the next fight. Also, I have one nitpick, not bad, just something I would like to talk about in the spoiler section. Well, since I just mentioned it, let's move to the spoiler section. So, I'll give you five seconds, if you have not seen the movie, to go away now. Okay, so, the spoiler section, here we go. The characters are very fleshed out in my opinion, especially Logan and Cassandra Nova. I actually was kind of surprised on how much I liked Cassandra Nova's character. Even if she did my boy Johnny Storm dirty. Hey, spoilers, remember? And, since I said that, I guess I will talk about the cameos now. They're really good in my opinion, and they don't take up the whole movie, which is good. And... They're also actually doing things in the movie instead of just being eye candy, like the cameos in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Misery. Also, gotta say a few things about the cameos. For one, thank you to everyone who spoiled it for me. Every single cameo. Thank you. Not like I wanted to be surprised and see it in the theater. And two, back to happier things, my theater cheered when we saw the characters being brought on screen. Me included. I lost my mind seeing characters like Elektra, X-23, and the biggest one, Blade, played by Wesley Snipes, who makes one of the best lines in the entire movie. And finally, Channing Tatum, who plays Gambit. Holy crap, it was awesome to see, and I love it. Now, one of the things that I would have liked to see was the original X-Men characters from the 2000s in their traditional comic book accurate suits. But... We didn't get that. It was a little sad, but it's whatever. And I do wish we had gotten a full fight sequence between the Hulk and Wolverine. But at the same time, it kind of works because Deadpool likes to subvert the expectations of the fans. One more thing, I was kind of hesitant on Channing Tatum playing Gambit because I always thought he was a little too big and a little too bulky for the role. But... 
After seeing this, all of my fears were pushed aside. Now I wish that we would have gotten that movie a few years back. But that's it. That is all our time for today. I appreciate you for watching my video. Uh, and in the next day or two, I will be releasing a ranking video of all of the X-Men movies. So stay tuned. But till then, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.